Welcome to Designer Digital's Tip of the Week, December 18th, 2010. This week, holiday project number four, creating an IOU with the Type Mask tool. Too late for a Christmas gift? Maybe the present you ordered hasn't come in yet, or the gift you're giving requires the recipient to make a choice. You could be giving the gift of time with promises for babysitting or car washing. Whatever the circumstances, Make your IOU extra special by personalizing the letters using Photoshop or Elements and the Type Mask tool. Begin by opening a new blank document in Photoshop or Elements in the size you'd like to print. For the sample, I created a 4 by 6 inch document at 300 pixels per inch. Next, open a piece of digital paper or a digital photo. Get the Horizontal Type Mask tool. This tool hides underneath the Type tool. You can access it by clicking and holding the Type tool. Make your choices in the Options bar. Choose a font, a style, and a very large size. For the sample, I'm going to choose 200 point. Left click and position your cursor on the paper. You'll notice that the paper turns red and that shows you where the mask is. Type a letter or letters and click the check mark to confirm the type. Before you click, you can reposition to get your letters on the pattern where you'd like them. Once you click the check mark, it makes a selection of the text. Now you can get the Move tool and position your cursor inside the selected letter. And then click and drag your IOU onto the other document. You can reposition and resize your letters and then click the check mark to confirm the change. Finish the IOU card by adding embellishments, papers, and photos to your liking. Use your creativity to customize the IOU card. Try using an embellishment like a wreath or an ornament for the O, or use a nutcracker or peppermint stick for the I. You can even use photos that represent the gift to make your letter. When you're finished, select File, Print to print your card, or save it as a JPEG to have it printed at a local store. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back next week for another Photoshop or Elements Tip of the Week.